Alrighty, well, we got this. I got my nice little table here set up, and I'm right down, right downtown. Uh, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna mess with me today. Uh, this is a gonna be a pretty obnoxious box. It looks like they Maryland Broadband's already done a mid span here, but they put these fat cases in. I don't know uh, why. Um, I'm gonna be putting in a Comscope A just so that I don't take up any more space than I need to. And uh, I got a plan. I found my 96. Um, I, yeah, I found my 96. Uh, I found my 48. And this is a 144. That's Maryland Broadbands. Um, so we'll be um, unfortunately doing a mid-span on this today. Uh, this is a 96 count uh, cable. I have... Uh, my 15 or 20, 15 customers on, I don't know, the apartment complex. I've got like 70 customers, 60 customers on this thing um, that could potentially uh, have a bad day. Um, but I'm going to be able to pull it off, I think. Um, I'm going to be using the orange tube uh, today. I'm going to attach that orange tube uh, to the orange tube in the 48. And then over on my other side, I have another splice, and that's where I'm going to actually change it back to blue. That way, when Windstream does their splice, they don't have any confusion. It's just fiber one through six is what they're doing. So, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get set up, get rocking on this thing. Cool. So uh, we are working on this. And it is an armored cable. I've got an armored and an unarmored. Um, fortunately, I, I prefer mid-spanning the uh, armored. It's, it gives me a little more comfort just using a razor knife. Um, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove that, get to our rip cords, um, and then we have another uh, ring cut right here. That's where we're gonna we're gonna enter with the rip cord, and we're gonna hopefully exit right there. Nice one, one nice pop. Um, got my A case prepped, screwed to the table. Got my pipe clamps. I guess they're fiber clamps today. And um, I measured this thing out, uh, so I think it is going to fit absolutely perfect in there. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's an A, and uh, the slack basket's a little tiny on these uh, for a mid span, but we can. I think we can do it. Alright, well, moving, moving right along. I've got my, uh, went ahead, I got my collar on, and I got this prepped, prepped up for the mid span. I'm gonna be uh, in the orange tube today. And, uh, um, fast access technology corning product. This is some sh piece of shit man I don't understand why they don't just there's no pull string um, so you nick it at the end uh, I don't have that piece anymore but yeah uh, yeah here we go you nick it to make sort of like a ribbon and then it comes off it sucks I don't like that that was really crappy and it's gonna be even shittier on a mid span like, I had trouble I had trouble with it on the uh, on just a dead end here, so we'll see how that goes. Kadoki. Well, we went ahead and we've got this uh, ready. Um, got all my slack in there. Pretty worked out good. Nobody called me. Uh, I am going to be using my orange. Uh, I'm going to do a mid-span entry on the orange. We're going to be dropping out um, six. Uh, fibers here and um, of those six fibers i um, going to be putting in uh, uh, two back to the data center I'm sorry three back to the data center um, yeah so three uh, so Chantel's getting four over at the Verizon building um, but that is going across the highway that direction um, then I'm going to be bringing uh, three fibers, uh, blue, orange, and green, out of 
the data center. Um, that way, we're only technically losing uh, one, five, or, or three. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get closer. Um, we're gonna have, I have one pawn uh, customer how to hook up. So let's get, uh, let's get splicing, I guess. Starting to pick up a little out here, and it's lunchtime, so place across the street to pop it. But I gotta give an idea what we're doing here. I've got my uh, mid span slack uh, here, six fibers of slack. Um, then I'm gonna be splicing uh, seven uh, fibers going this direction. Um, I'm gonna be using red, uh, red as my pawn. So I got two done. I'm gonna go ahead and dress it up. And then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it all in the same tray. And I'm just going to put simple fiber on one side and then Shenandoah on the other. Shen, uh, Shen, uh, Shentel. Shenandoah is their parent company. But don't really get to do splices for other people. Kind of interesting. But I'll take a quick shot when this is all wrapped up. All righty. Well, I'm about to pop this thing together. But I went ahead and I put on uh, the... Uh, Shit, damn, I got some crazy hair going on. The uh, simple fiber on one side, and um, the uh, Chantel stuff on the other side, and we're gonna button this up and get on out of here. They're cooking something in this place across the street from me, and I think that's where I'm heading. But I'm gonna wrap all this in and pack up my station. Cool deal. So both these cases went right back in here pretty good. Um, put a Maryland roll band on top. That way uh, I should never have to get in that case again, uh, hopefully. But uh, yeah, worked out, worked out pretty fucking good, uh, I think, considering there's two, it, I, don't, I don't like that case they used. I'm guessing it's for 144 and larger or something, but well, I don't, it's so fat, it's kind of annoying. Uh, but that's, that's there. So, I'm gonna clean up my operation here. Uh, there's a dumpster around the corner. And, uh, hope every, hope this went together pretty good. 